Morning Thailand supported by Wings Learning Circle, customized English course for your business. And welcome back to the last break of Morning Thailand today. Continue with the political situation yesterday. Mm -hmm. The Democrat Party held a general assembly, which they have endorsed a change of party regulations and also there's a, an election of a new expanded 35 member executive committee mm -hmm. and three other committee. The annual party meeting chaired by Kun Apisit, uh, which Chachiwa was attended by many senior party members, mm -hmm. including Kun Marut Bunna. Kun Pichai Ratanakun and Kun Chuan Lik Pai, the former Prime Minister. Kun Abhisit informed the meeting of the party's intentions in amending the regulations to make way for the restructuring of the party and of the. Uh, because a lot of people say mm -hmm. that it is time for the Democrat Party to reform. Mm -hmm that they should change the regulations, the principles, and even some MPs or executive mm -hmm. committee in order to open new challenges and offer opportunities for voters to choose apart from the Thai party. And also there's an, an election mm -hmm. of people to replace Kun Chalum Chai Si On as the party secretary general. Kun mm -hmm. Abhisit said the amendment of the party's regulations has three main objectives. Firstly, there will be a party central committee mm -hmm. with former party leaders and former party secretaries general who are still uh, party members as the ex-official members. Mm -hmm. The Central Committee will have 18 other members who need not necessarily by party members. Its membership must be resourceful in economic, political, mm -hmm. social, administrative and other fields. While the Central Committee is responsible for giving advice and suggestions for the party to work on, and this emphasizes the need for the party <coughs> to have resourceful persons in society take mm -hmm. part in line with the current move to reform on the country. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the Executive Committee will have 35 members expanded from 19, while the third goal involves setting up of a further three committee for selecting election candidates overseeing party policies and promoting mm -hmm. democracy within the party. The General Assembly has endorsed the change of the party's regulations. And then mm -hmm. the meeting has appointed Kun Trai Rong Suwan Kiri, Kun Jaren Kantawong, Kun Thet Pong Chayanan, mm -hmm. Kun Suthat Ngan Mern, and Kun Nippon Visit Yutasa to a committee supervising the election of the new executive committee of the mm -hmm. Democrat Party. Mm -hmm. Then former party leader Kun Banyat Bantatan nominated Kun Apisit for the post of party leader without competition. Mm -hmm. Kun Apisit was subsequently re-elected by 98% oh. of the eligible voters. Mm -hmm. For a fourth term. For the the fourth term. The fourth term, I mm -hmm. guess. <coughs> because uh, at first Kun mm -hmm. uh, Kunabisit was freshly elected as the uh, party leader in 2005. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, he was appointed to be the prime minister mm -hmm. at the age of 44. So he was the country youngest prime minister yes, at that right. time. Uh, but I think for this news, quite very surprisingly, mm -hmm. uh, because the <clears throat> early this week we. Uh, Heard that Kunsurin Pisuwan, mm -hmm. the former ASEAN secretary, would run for the leadership. Yeah. But uh, apparently he did not. He, he did not. <coughs> and uh, there's other changes in the position as well. Kun Satit Pitute Cha, who already resigned mm -hmm. as an MP, was meanwhile voted as a deputy responsible for the central region. Kun Ong At Klam Pai Boon as deputy for Bangkok. Kun Nipit mm -hmm. Intarasombat as the deputy for the southern region. Kun Atsawin Wipo Siri as deputy for the northern region. Mm -hmm. And Kun Ying Kalaya Sopon Panits as the deputy for the northeast. Kun Juti Krai mm -hmm. was appointed party secretary general, replacing Kun Chalum Chai Sion, who has already resigned. Mm -hmm. While Kun Alongkorn Polabud was another um, politician, the Democrat Party, that reports that his point to be next party leader however he mm. did not he was not selected in the meeting yesterday however the democrat is uh, still have to design on their stance whether mm -hmm. or not they would field in candidates for the upcoming general election mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's move to the international arena mm -hmm. because uh, yesterday Kun Surapong Tawijak Saigun, the deputy, the acting deputy prime minister, foreign minister, and the director of Saw or Rasa, mm -hmm. the <laughs> PDRC. No, oh, no, the capo. <laughs> uh, the capo. Excuse me. Uh -huh. uh, he came out on the TV pool program announcing that uh, right now there are 47 countries voicing their concern over political situation in Thailand, especially over the coming election on the, uh, February the 2nd. Uh, yesterday at uh, 1.30 p.m., Kun Surapong revealed that before there were uh, just not just, but there were uh, 45 countries showing mm -hmm. their concern already. But on December 13 and 15, respectively, Japan has announced uh, its concern that it is now worried that the political situation in Thailand, uh, that right now the country have mass rally and the occupation of many state offices, which in some incidents caused injury and debt to mm -hmm. the protester. So uh, Japan, in all, hopes that Thailand will be able to fix the problems as soon as possible, as well as to have free and fair election, uh, as uh, the government stated. Uh, however, for South Korea, uh, it makes number 46 of the country sending concern letter to Thailand. Mm -hmm. And it states that it hopes to see political conflicts and gathering resolved in a quick peaceful and lawful way, why Bahrain, the 47 country, state that it is worried about the uh, Thai political situation and it would like to see all parts trying mm -hmm. to sit and talk uh, to find a peaceful way out of this uh, political deadlock. Mm -hmm. right. uh, as well, Bahrain comments that it wants to see that, uh, the political expression stay uh, lawful, peaceful and under constitution as uh, mm -hmm. it, it has been. That's not surprising that international community supports negotiation mm -hmm. and election because that's according to the constitution. And, and with the upcoming general election and the period that it will open for the political party to uh, submit the candidacy, Kun Su Thep, uh, Sunan, the PDRC core leader, has announced mm -hmm. yesterday on the rally stage that there will be another big gathering mm -hmm. this Sunday. Right. Uh, Kun Suteb said that December the 22nd is the day when all will rally to officially oust Kun Ying Lak Chinawat from mm -hmm. the Prime Minister's position, mm -hmm. even uh, only the acting position. And the rally has been scheduled to take place a day before the Election Commission begins registering the list MP candidates on December 23rd to 27th, followed by constituency seat candidates from December 28th to January the 1st. And Kun Suteb has urged his supporters to come out on Thursday and Friday for mm -hmm. a rehearsal of the planned rally and then to rest on Saturday mm -hmm. in preparation for the march on Sunday. That's another move. I would say this mm -hmm. would be a bold move from Kun Su Thep Chosuban and the mm -hmm. PDSA because they would know that several gatherings wouldn't mm -hmm. work. <laughs> so it should be a bigger and bigger uh -huh. And mm -hmm, yeah, but not only Kun Sutep Tuk Suban has uh, making the news on the newspaper, uh, as well uh, now Kun Ka Kun Ka Rom mm -hmm. Phon Phon Klang, a, a lawyer for the U UDD, the United Front for Democracy Against Dictatorship, has fi uh, filed a petition to the DSI for legal action mm -hmm. uh, against academic. Dr. Seri Wong Monta and Takeng Satsom Sap, director of uh, Blue Sky Satellite Television Station on Treason Charge, mm -hmm. uh, section 114 of the Criminal Court. Uh, in the petition, Mr. Seri was accused of having violated the section uh, by going up on the stage of the PDRC to incite an uprising against the democratic government. Yeah. So we will have to wait and see if uh, Dr. Seri would actually uh, get any bad repetition from this. Yes, all right. And with that, we have to wrap up this edition of Morning Thailand this morning. Thank you, Wings Learning Circle Customized English Course for your business. And of course, if you have uh, any comments, suggestions, or opinions you would like to express, send us an email to morningthailandshow at gmail.com or just go to Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash morningthailand. Mm -hmm. And today we have to say goodbye. Thanks for joining and see you again tomorrow. And bye. I'm Shane. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah.